what's up guys welcome back to the channel my name is jane you're welcome back to jane by design um thank you guys so much for all your likes and your support i deeply appreciate for all of you that have stuck with me throughout i appreciate you if you're new here thank you for stopping by and if you have not subscribed to my channel please do not just watch and go subscribe and support me in this youtube journey if you're an og thank you for sticking by me throughout this period as well i want to appreciate you all please put on your notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you'll be the first to get notified okay guys so in this tutorial today in this video i'll be showing us how to draw a flounce how to cut a flounce so you could attach a flounce to your skirts or your gown and it's always very nice and flattery and it's also a very fashion forward as well so this is very good for beginners if you're still a beginner and you're learning new projects this is one of the projects i think that you should try out it's very easy to make it's someone it's something you can make under five minutes or so so if you want to learn how to do this please watch this video to the end subscribe to my channel and recommend this channel to your friends so now i have my pattern paper i'll be using my pattern paper to illustrate this um process this process okay but normally you don't need a pattern paper to do it you can just go ahead and cut it on your fabric directly but for the sake of illustration and for the sake of this video i'll be making use of my pattern paper i have my pattern paper i have my scissors my marker and also i have my pattern master as well so on my paper you can see that i folded it into four just to give me that crease line of four parts on my paper so the essence is so that when i use my marker to draw out this lines, i have an equal line and i also have where the center of the paper is so you need to get the midpoint of your fabric or your paper whatever you are using you need to get the midpoint because it's from that midpoint that you'll be taking all of your measurements so now after i've opened up my paper i'm going to use my pattern master to go ahead and draw my lines you can see that i've drawn my horizontal and vertical lines so on the midpoint of that line i'll be taking two inches just so that we could create a mini a small circle all right so we are going to be creating a small circle from the midpoint of that line that i just drew so you can see that i've taken my my tape and i'm, I'm marking two inches all around the circle all around the four quadrants that we have on the paper and i'll just use my pencil to connect all the points together okay now that i've created the circle now i'm just going to highlight it more with the marker so that it's more visible so now that we've gotten our circle the next thing we're going to do is to start um, taking the length of the flounce that you need so if you want your flounce to be big or smaller you know what length to use or what measurement to use but i use three and a half inch so i'll start marking three and a half inch from the edge of the circle that we created so you can see where i placed my tape that is where you are going to be taking your measurement from you're not taking it after inside the circle you're taking it after you've done your mini circle on your fabric all right so i'm just marking three and a half inch all around and next thing i will do is to just connect the points together now if you notice that i didn't close off to the fourth part of the paper i just kind of made a curve to where the edge of the flounce will stop so from that point you just keep marking three and a half inch all around until you create a very until you cover the whole fabric or you cover the whole paper just keep marking three and a half inch all around until you exhaust it and when you are done with that then the next thing you're going to do is to just use your marker to connect all of the points you can see i'm going to use my marker now to connect the points you can see the spin that i have you can see the spiral thing going around on the paper there so now we are done um, drafting it on the paper you can see the end of the flounce there that is that point that i'm just going to cut out now so what you do is to just go ahead and cut out the flounce you're going to just follow the lines and keep cutting till you get to the middle point to get to that curve 
that we have at the midpoint so we'll just go ahead and cut now So here guys, we are done cutting and this is what the flans like just folded it to show you how it's going to look like when you attach it to your dress or your um, skirt. So for the bottom part, all you need to do is to just curve it inward, sew it down. So as you're sewing it down on your dress, make sure that they are layering themselves like each part is covering, the stitches are covering themselves. I'm going to just um, place it on my fabric. So that i'll show you how you are going to be placing your flounce on so it's as simple as that all you need to do is just keep folding it in and out in and out until you get to the last um until you get to the end of the spin okay so just keep folding it in and out until you get to the end of the flounce and that is it guys it's as easy as dry as that just try this out and let me know in the comment section and if there's anything you want me to talk about or there's any video you want me to do an illustration on please kindly let me know in the comment section thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a huge thumbs up like share and subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed already and also make sure that you turn on your notification bell and please don't just watch and leave. Please subscribe, subscribe, and let's grow this channel together. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.